Here it is, the Hell is on Thunderbird, batteries are charged and we're gonna give it a maiden flight here. I actually flew it, it's kind of very, very stable. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is show you the radio, okay? It's a 2.4G transmitter and it's a four channel. So you have throttle stick, okay? There is no spring in it, which is very, very good. You can set the throttle as you want and leave the, leave the hands or leave the radio down and helicopter still flies. This is your yaw rudder, okay? And this is your left and right and forward and backward. So uh, these are your trims, respectively. Uh, throttle trim doesn't work. Okay, so when you turn it on, it will actually check and try to bind the helicopter, uh, bind with the helicopter, but at the moment I did not turn it on, so I'm just gonna show you how it works actually. So there is a cool effect on the radio as well. When you increase the throttle, you actually see the lights going full throttle on this speedometer given here, which is just a you know, kind of cool effect, uh, which actually also helps to see how much throttle you have off the throttle on the speedometer here. To make it work, I will put the helicopter here, okay, I will turn the helicopter on first and the radio on and we can see the lights will actually blink faster, this means they are actually binding with the radio. Okay. Then I move the left and right stick and throttle stick and your helicopter is actually ready to fly. So it's kind of a safety function that right after turning on you won't turn the blades running and uh, get hit by it. So it's, it's really good safety function that it will actually detect the inputs from your sticks and then it will turn on. Here we go, let's fly it. I haven't touched the trains yet. Okay. So, so basically, this much stable hover is actually showing us this is a good beginner helicopter, 2.4G radio and 4 channel capability. Uh, this means you can see we can go left, we can go right, we can yaw, we can fly forward, we can fly backward. And hey, let me try to do what I like to do. The funnels. You can see we are doing funnels here. I... Cool helicopter to fly and practice your skills on four channel helicopter. And actually you can fly with good speed around. So you can do some challenge flights as well. Here we are, we have just set up a very, very simple challenge for us. Go under these oars or go from here and come back. So let's give it a try and see if Thunderbird can do it. The key to challenge is learning to fly helicopter stable and slow. Now there is no trouble of being stable because this helicopter is already stable. All you need to do is practice to fly it slowly. And this helicopter actually can fly slowly. Here we are. The helicopter is going inside nice and good. Get it stable. Go down and fly slowly. And that's what I like about these four channel helicopters because you have to use the skills of four channel helicopters. And you can see we are doing the challenge flying it backwards. And we did it. So that is why I like the four channel helicopters. Toys of like three channel, they are fun. 
but in fact they are just fun they are not for learning or getting into RC helicopter field so if you want to get into RC helicopter fields you need to start with a four channel stable helicopter and I'm happy that Helizon Thunderbird has done it again we have a good helicopter in hands enjoy and more videos are coming soon